Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. And today I have an old friend of mine from Southern Illinois down here. He's visiting, and we're going to show him what the Houston chiropractor does to analyze people and adjust them. So first thing, I know a lot of you have been asking questions about what is the X, Y, and Z axes. Well, the X axis comes across like this from left to right, and you can either be positive or negative on it. The y-axis comes straight down through like a plumb line from the ceiling, and the z-axis goes right straight through the body. And we analyze translations and rotations on all three axes. And this is how we evaluate a person's biomechanical structure from their posture, because posture is a mirror of their spinal biomechanics. So first thing I'm going to do is have you flex your head forward for me with your eyes closed. Now that pulls right through there, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Backwards all the way. Now see, he doesn't have much extension there either. Now back to neutral, but keep your eyes closed. Take a deep breath in and relax it out and just breathe normal, but keep your eyes closed. Now as you can see, his head is translated on the x-axis. It's also rotated on the z-axis. His right ear is lower than his left ear. I bet he's a side sleeper because his head's turned to the right as well. And you can see how much higher the left shoulder is here and how much space he has here between his arm on this side versus this side. So he's got a pelvic translation to the left, so that means he's got a curvature or scoliosis in his spine. Now from the side view, his head's forward, and you can see how he's kind of got that downward look to it. So we're going to take him over here and adjust him now. So Mike, why don't you lay your glasses down there, and we'll come over here. Now this is your old buddy from Southern Illinois adjustment that he's getting today in Houston. So let's have you with your face right there and your arms right down there. And this is a good old-fashioned Palmer package adjustment, which I'm going his right leg, just relax that. His right leg was short by half an inch, now it gets a half inch longer. That tightens up in your lower back, doesn't it? Yes, sir. I bet he sits on that wallet there all the time, too. Yeah, you got to put that in your front pocket down here in Houston. <laughs> yeah, see, he's out right there, too. That low back's really tense right there. Now, see, his pelvis had translated to the left or on the x-axis, so I'm going to adjust his right sacroiliac joint, and then I'm going to adjust his left sacroiliac joint and his where his wallet is, which is causing him to be one leg shorter than the other one. That's the old thing you've heard about if you're out in the desert, you'd be walking around in a circle. That's why, because you actually have one leg shorter than the other one if your sacroiliac joints are out of place in pelvis. And that was L5. There's L4. There's L3. Now this is the Z-axis. There's L1. And there's right at T12 L1. Now just read normal for me. Yeah, nice and easy. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. And I'm just going to have you breathe normal. Yes, sir. I'm going to let your head down just a little there. Now scoot up in there just a bit. We're going to open these joints up a little bit. And there we go. And we got a little stress up here in this upper back. He's not moving too well. He hasn't been adjusted in quite some time. Yeah, boy. All right. Yeah, he's about like adjusting some of the hard-headed people I know from Southern Illinois. His spine is tight, so we're going to loosen it up a little bit with the elbow and his paraspinal muscles. Feel that, don't you? Uh-huh. Yeah. There we go. All right, now. We're going to adjust, and see he's getting a little hump right here from that forward head posture, so we're going to adjust his cervical spine and his upper thoracic spine. Just let this go on my hand. There it is. Perfect. Now I'm going to check his leg length again. His legs are exactly even. Mike, how's this feel compared to the first time? Oh, it feels good. Feels better, doesn't it? Yeah. Good. Let's turn you on your back. We've got one more thing we're going to adjust on his table here. Now just relax your hands right on your tummy there. There you go. Let your head drop right in my hand. Let me do all the work for you. Don't worry, I don't have any heads in my trophy wall yet. I won't start with yours. I never hear the end of it. There we go. All right, now. 
Perfect. Very good. Now, I'm going to finish his adjustment off with the instrument today. Let's hit you up sideways here. There you go. That away. And let's come back over here in front of the mirror. Now, I'm going to be using a high velocity, low amplitude instrument. This is what it's going to feel like right here, Mike, on the right on your atlas. So, we're going to have you close your eyes again, flex your head forward and backwards. Now, neutral. Now, as you can see, still forward a little bit, not as bad. Let's open your eyes. Now, I'm going to have you pull both shoulders up and pull them back like that. You're going to flare your hands out like that. And we're going to bring your head all the way back here. Now, translate here and bend left. Hold that position. We're going to adjust his atlas, which will retrain his cerebellum. And change his biomechanics. There we go. Now, let's close your eyes. Do that very same thing again. Forward all the way. Better. Backward all the way. And neutral. Look at that. Straighten him out tons. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We'll see you next time.